Hello everyone, ex-Muslim and free here. I have been thinking for quite some time of making this channel and have finally gotten around to doing it. Let me introduce myself. I am an ex-Muslim. I was a Muslim for 22 years. My name is Rafi Aziz. The reason for leaving Islam was simply that it was untrue. I discovered information, which is although I wouldn't say hidden completely, but Muslim scholars and Imams are unwilling to share and talk and dis discuss this information because it shows the true nature of Muhammad and it is not very pretty, to put it mildly. This channel is not really for non-Muslims, although you are very welcome, but for Muslims. If you are non-Muslims and no Muslim, share this video with them. I know I'm going to get fantastic allegations of things like, you're a Jew. You're a Zionist, you're a Christian missionary, you never were a Muslim, or some other nonsense. The simple reply for me, from me to all of these is, they are not true. None of those are true. I am who I am, I know who I am. This basic fact that I used to be Muslim, I have no reason to try and convince you. If you don't want to believe it, then I can't help you. I used to love Allah, love, love Muhammad, love Islam. I wanted to please Allah so I can get into Jannah. But slowly and surely I began to realize that all of those were nothing more than illusions. It was hard to accept at first, but the truth doesn't care about your feelings or beliefs. Truth is truth. My intentions is not to insult, anger, intimidate or anything negative. My true intention is to bring a message of hope and help you, the Muslims, help you the Muslims, because you think you are free, but you cannot see the thick metal bars surrounding your mind, and that is why you think you are free. That is the ultimate genius of Islam as well, that the prison it creates for your mind, although total and complete, the person doesn't feel enslaved by it. I know you already hate me, but try not to. After all, it's not haram to listen to other people's opinions and views. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind, please. That is very important. I know you love Muhammad and he inspires you. I know you think he is perfect. But I am going to show you the other side of Muhammad using only the Quran, the Hadith, and the first ever biography of Muhammad written by Ibn Ishaq. I know you're saying, what is Ibn Ishaq? The people, the same people who accuse me of never knowing anything about Islam or never being a Muslim, themselves, sorry to say, only have a glancing knowledge of Islam. They don't, they only know what you need to do to get into heaven. That's as far as their Iman goes. But I actually researched this for a good few years because I deeply cared for the truth. I care for whether it's fundamentally true what Muhammad actually said. I know you're told to just believe it, using blind faith and never question it. Believing it, in fact, believing it blindly is a sign of, is, is encouraged. That tells you everything about Islam, that you are told it's a good thing to not question. It's a good thing to just believe it at face value. But I thought to myself, why not question? After all, you can believe any old lie using blind faith and never question it and may and you will think you have the truth and believing something that is actually true. In fact, this is what happens with people who still think to this day that the earth is flat. They think they have the truth because they've never questioned themselves critically. Most people just take Islam at face value because that's what childhood indoctrination is. As soon as you are born, you are told only one story as a kid, you don't know how to think critically and assess opinions rationally as you are being fed this information, so you just accept it. The exact same thing happens with Christians. A kid is born, he's told Jesus is his Savior and Lord, and for the rest of his life he believes it. In fact, you can actually get a map which shows that the geographic location of your birth and the religion of your parents is a much better indicator of which religion you will believe in your whole life. 
not just which religion, but which sect. For example, if you're born into Iran, you're much more likely to have a Shia 12 Imam Muslim parents. So you will be a Shia Muslim. However, just across the Persian Sea, over into Saudi Arabia, you're much more likely to be born into not just Sunni parents, but Wahhabi Sunni parents. So you will be Wahhabi Sunni for your whole life. The sect of the sect you can predict by knowing the religion of the parents. I know some people change their religion, like I have, but the overwhelming majority, the overwhelming majority, believe what they do because of their parents. This is an easily verifiable fact of life. Because their parents only tell them that one story that they themselves believe in, because each parent wants their child to be just like them, since every parent thinks they know the best way to live. In fact, everyone thinks they have the best way to live. Very few parents do the right thing and let their kid choose and discover who they are as individuals and formulate their own opinions and views. Instead of trying to spend all your time to find out who I am, where I live, look at what I am saying. Look at what I am saying and see and ask yourself, am I saying anything without evidence or something which simply cannot be true? I think you'll find that everything I say is at least possible. I'm not asking you to believe the impossible. Things, for example, that a man 1400 years ago flew on an unknown flying species outside the universe through sub-zero temperature and without oxygen to meet God and talk to him personally and came back in one night. I'm not asking you to believe such fantastic stories at face value. Everything I say can be verified, and in fact you will know intuitively that what I'm saying actually is true about this world. I'm not saying anything that just cannot be true. I'm aware that it's going to be disturbing and sad to listen to me at times if you're a Muslim, but I want you to go on a journey with me. I'm going to share with you what I found using only Islamic sources and Islamic websites. It'll be in plain simple to understand English. Now let me make it clear, I'm not the devil, I'm not inspired by shaitan. I'm doing what I'm doing because I love to set people free and help them realize that their life is much more meaningful, much more wholesome than a pointless test designed to make you fail. Many Muslims watching this will come back and say for some odd reason that I still do not understand is look at what America and Israel are doing. As if that is an argument that proves Islam. This channel has nothing to do with being pro-Israel or pro-America. I will tell you my views on them in another video. To whether Islam is true or not, what America does and what Israel, Israel does has no bearing. It is in fact irrelevant to whether Islam is true or not. I'm not saying we should ignore them. All I'm saying is it is irrelevant to whether Islam is true. There is no connection between how many countries America attacks and how true Islam suddenly becomes. There is just no connection. For example, the invasion and occupation of Iraq starting in 2003 not only does not prove Islam, it in fact disproves it. Where was Allah to stop the bombs. Allah seemed pretty powerless to help the Muslims. The answer is obvious because there is no Allah there to help anyone. It is an illusion in your mind that he even exists. On this channel, I'm also going to debunk this idea of science in the Quran because I think it is a tragedy, a travesty and an insult to human intelligence that instead of Muslims learning real science, that the rest of the world is learning, for example, the Russians, the Chinese, the Australians, the South Americans are learning. No, they're being stunted intellectually by having wrong science taught in a silly manner. And this science in the Quran is usually wrong science, which is not even valid anymore. So the basic idea is that I want to help you, the Muslim, discover the truth about Islam and Muhammad. I'm not saying I have the truth about the big questions of life, but I do know 
what the answer to those questions are not. I'm very convinced about who Muhammad was and what his intentions were for creating Islam and I will share them with you and hopefully you will see that, that what I see. Either Islam is true or it is not and all I'm saying is that it's simply not true. And believing a lie simply because you want it to be true and you want to live forever does not make it true. Let me repeat. The truth does not care about your feelings or whether what you want to be true. The truth is truth. And let me tell you, the truth is very brutal. So please keep an open mind because truth can only sprout on receptive soil. Subscribe and comment if you feel like it. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully there will be many many more to come. Unless some Muslim finds out where I live and we all know how peaceful Islam is with the ex Muslims. Peace be unto you, my fellow brother and sister in humanity.